like you know there was no sanitary conditions at all like you know absolutely appalling this is where the real uh, degradation starts and that journey lasted five days up to the first place we stopped in Thailand was a place called Ban Pong. That was um, an ex-Japanese camp there. There was a Japs had been stationed in there, but the camp was under about a foot of water. I'd, I had a large box of Windsor Newton watercolors and uh, I had to throw the box away because there'd been two of us, but I kept about six or eight or ten of those little pallets. And they, of all things, those little paints lasted me for as long as I wanted them. And we were taken up the river. We were going to start up the transit camps. And they dropped us off then at 20 mile intervals to go in into the jungle and start clearing the jungle because there would be the main body of men coming from Singapore and they would be marching up the jungle track that followed the River Kwai. And then we were told all men march. 150 kilometers. I mean, the question of escaping was, was something that one occasionally thought about, but very quickly dismissed, because you had at least 1,200 miles of sea with lots of islands in between, admittedly, but 1,200 miles before you would get to safety, or 1,200 miles up country onto the Burma Front. If you fell by the wayside, couldn't go any further, and nobody could help you, you were left to die, or they made sure you died. And it's called the Death March. The POWs, already weak and ill, were forced to build a railway track for the Japanese through the mountainous jungle terrain. Then we had to climb up about a thousand feet. And it's during the monsoon, of course, and it was just appalling. He took two steps and slid back two. It was a thick jungle there, and uh, we started clearing the jungle for the right where the railway tra trace was going to go through. So that was the first introduction to the extra job. And so it gradually got worse from then. <laughs> まあ、あとになって私は気圧運ですけれども、あまり日本の軍隊がね、あまり強くないにもかかわらず、あんまり手広くね、戦争の範囲を広げたために、まあ、どういったんですか、負けたら土地が深いなと思ってますですね。インパ
一番困ったのはそうですねス,スコールですかうん大雨が降ってですねあの橋梁が作った橋梁流されたところもありますよだからそういうところでまだ作り直すとかねそういうのが一番大雨が一番怖かったですねで向こうでは何でもかんでもある It was really a problem of supply. The only communication was the river. And being the time of the monsoon, the rivers tended to flood. And this rendered it almost impossible for supplies to get up. All we got was、uh, supposed to be 250 grams of rice.、Um, that usually came in the form of、uh, rice、uh, full of weevils and so forth. So we ate any vegetation that we could. Snakes were very good to eat if you get, get them. The first one I killed was by accident, and, and I, I just banged. It, it, it takes a lot to kill a snake because they thrash, you know, a tremendous amount of them. And I said, We've got something to, to eat, you said. So, do you, do you know what you've just killed? And I said, No. He said, Well, that's a king cobra. And, and I hadn't the faint to know it, or this thing. But it didn't matter, really. The lizards were quite nice. They were quite big. They were, could be up to about 18 inches long, quite big, like, you know. And you just kill them, skin them, and cook them, either grill them or put them in some water and cook them. <laughs> In a pot. <laughs> the men were now starving, but the Japanese had refused to sign the Geneva Convention, which protected the rights of prisoners of war. If our men misbehaved, as the Japanese said, and the misbehavior was, was nearly always stealing food, then we were all, as officers, lined up and, and were, had what's called bintos. Uh, that is, a, an officer, a Japanese officer, to come up and give you a really hard bang on your face and so on,、uh, in front of all the men, to, to, to try and teach them that they, they shouldn't seal, you see. POW camp guard was trained in the Japanese military camp for Fusan about, for about five, hour, five months, and、uh, they were hitting almost every day. According to the Japanese training style. What does she know? You see, no, no, I've got the high in Asia, so Jack Tain and the Cotoa, Kanga and a Cotta, isn't it? Kekyo, Tesdo, I tenor, Fudan, Karamo, Stanga, no, Kyore, at the Kimo, Gentilin, or Nana, and Nimo, Black Kara, Atmete. There's nothing wrong with the ordinary Japanese people. No, it was the, the, the Japanese army was the problem, like, especially their army. Look, they were taught to be brutal. That was part of their life. It, you know, it was no,、uh, it, it, it was、um, something that you,、uh, you have a job to, to understand. But、um, right from up the top of their, their headquarters, right the way down through their army. They were totally were even brutal to one another. They have to encourage POWs to work hard to perform their work. But most of the hitting was designed by the Korean guards in the, of the POW camp. Yeah, Koreans themselves say that the Japanese soldiers and the military pigeons. Then comes the bottom of the, the Korean guards, they say. If somebody tried to escape and, and they were caught, I mean, the one police was just shooting them. No, no. They had to torture. What is the fact that you are going to do? どういう現場だったかわかりませんけどないと思いますけどね。私は聞いてませんよね。それは個人的によってね、何かあって、何、えー、かとあれだろうと。If 
you weren't working hard enough, one of the things they would make you do was perhaps to stand with a hold a stone above your head. Well, once you, I mean, when you're weak anyway, if you put both arms up, you start to feel faint very quickly. Um, and so you would drop the stone. So we learnt you dropped the stone fairly quickly and, and picked it up, um, which, which was better than collapsing, because once you collapse on the ground, then you're not true about and kicks you all over the place. So you'll probably begin more damage to, to, to fainting than... So you had to play the game, really. So それは今おっしゃるように、あの一部の人であって、意外でその捕虜がですね、何に、え、大河湾の方で使われたか知りませんけどね。若干そんな人もあったということについては、日本軍人がですね、捕虜取り扱いについて、こういうことをしてはいけ